wanted to talk a, a little bit about my Boa's new enclosure. He was in a Animal Plastics T8 enclosure, which is right here, which is now being occupied by my Anery corn snake, who's in the hide right there. So yeah, he really likes it. He's got the, the nice big Pro Products heat panel. It's the 60 watt model. Um, and so yeah, the Boa, I mean, it was definitely fine for the Boa. But boas do like to climb, so I think uh, and nothing. The animal plastics cages are are great, but they do need some like climbing space. Um, so I moved him into this custom enclosure, and he loves sitting up there on his shelf. And uh, he's got a ceramic heat emitter up there. Uh, it's a 75 watt heat emitter. He. Um, yeah, so they use the vertical space, and he'll he'll uh, climb down the branches to go drink from his water bowl. So, yeah, it's a big enclosure. It's a six foot by four foot wide, so it's pretty tall. So yeah, six foot tall, four foot wide, and two foot deep. And it's kind of got this cool. We've got these um, like rock ledges, which is really cool. Um, as far as yeah, lighting, we've got the ceramic heat emitter. You got to put a guard on it because the snake. Obviously, they can reach it, and it'll burn. It'll it'll burn the crap out of them. So, um, yeah, make sure you get these guards on any lights that you have in the enclosure. Also, they can break them if it doesn't burn the snake. If the snake wraps around the bulb, it'll break the bulb. So, yeah, get these guards. They just use these little springs right here um, that hold the the uh, the lid on. So, yeah, you just undo these springs, and you can access the bulb. So. Really handy. It's got a fluorescent light fixture uh, up there, so um, I don't have a guard on that. Uh, it's not going to burn the snake. Uh, he could damage it if he wanted to, but um, seems like it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, he's he's doing very very well. Um, he also in the T8 enclosure, he was rubbing his head a lot, so he was getting kind of a little a little bump on his um, on his head. Um, it's going away now. Now that he's in this enclosure, doesn't rub anymore. So, yeah. Um, other things about this enclosure. Yeah, there's like little shelves and stuff in here, which is really cool. Um, yeah, he uh, he seems to really like this enclosure. So, yeah, and as far as... Um, so, it's got these like cabinet-style doors. It just uh, locks in right there. And then this door swings around. And then... Uh, yeah, it's got these little latches that keep it from opening. And yeah, it's got just uh, glass for viewing the snake. But uh, yeah, really simple and sweet. I could have gone with the heat panel for this enclosure, but since this is a big enclosure um, and uh, I have the guards and stuff, uh, I decided to go with the, heat, the ceramic heat emitter instead. The ceramic heat emitters, they tend to dry the cage out, so I missed in here about once a week. Um, and I'll, I also take them to the bathtub and get some moisture, uh, let them swim around and stuff. So, um, yeah, ceramic heat mirrors is kind of a cheaper option compared to a heat panel. Heat panels run, use average about a hundred bucks. Ceramic heat emitters are, you know, 10 to $20. So, uh, it's a cheaper option. They also, they last about five years or so. Um, so yeah, that's another option. I just don't like you, you guys just gotta be careful with them. They get very hot. Um, and they can overheat the enclosure. This enclosure, even if it was on full blast all the time, it would not, it would not, the snake could move away from it and it'd be fine. It wouldn't hurt the snake. Um, whereas if you have a heat emitter in one of these PVC cages, if the thermostat goes out, it'll easily overheat the enclosure and could hurt, the, it could kill the snake. Uh, if it doesn't kill the snake, it'll, it'll definitely cause issues. So um, yeah, these enclosures definitely, the heat panels are the way to go. My ball python also has one. It's not a pro products model. It's a Rubtel Basics uh, 80 watt heat panel in there. Um, I definitely would go for the pro products model. One issue I've had with this one is the plug that's in the back. The snake likes to climb on that plug and it'll come unplugged. So sometimes I would have to plug it back in, uh, which is kind of a stupid design. The pro products pre panel the cord is all one piece, so he can't unplug it. So, just a better design. It's it's 
um, well made. It's, it's definitely better um, than the Reptile Basics model. So, um, anyway, yeah, the, uh, the boa, he's still eating. He eats extra large rat once a month. And, uh, yeah, he's doing really good with that. Um, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll post some, some more videos of, uh, of him, my water snake and some of my other stuff. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate, appreciate the support and have a nice day.